Hey guys, my name is Aubrey and welcome to my channel. So if you are new here, this is my channel and here we discuss all things business, entrepreneurship, things like Turo, Airbnb, investing, personal finance, Upwork, freelancing, and everything in between. If you're new here and if you enjoy the content, then I would greatly appreciate if you could subscribe. It really helps the YouTube algorithm and it helps my channel grow. If you are already subscribed, then I greatly appreciate it and thank you for checking out my videos. So before we get started in today's video, I want to preface all of this by apologizing in advance. You see, I have two dogs of my own, but they're older and whenever I record videos, they typically are just sitting on the floor next to me while I record very silently. But today I'm actually babysitting somebody's six month old puppy and she's going nuts. And so she's running around the entire house and I am trying to kind of keep her secluded in order to keep the noise down. But I apologize in advance if you hear any like paws or collars rattling throughout this video, I will do my best both while recording this as well as in editing to keep that to a minimum. But I do apologize if it is a little bit distracting to anybody. So today I wanna to talk about business coaches. And this has actually been a topic that I've been really excited to talk about since before I even started my channel. And whenever I decided that YouTube was something that I wanted to seriously pursue, the idea of creating a video around business coaches was one of the first things that I knew I wanted to do. And the reason is, is because I think that this entire industry of business coaches is really, I don't wanna say corrupt, but for lack of a better term, I think it's really corrupt. And I say that because I think that there's a lot of people who are just looking to scam others through the avenue of quote unquote business coaches. And so I really wanted to talk about that. And so let's get started. So my overall consensus in the like business coaching and business course industry is that I think that in general, it's a huge, huge waste of money um, and business coaches specifically. And the reason is, is because there's no barrier to entry in order to become a quote unquote business coach or in order to create a course is that anybody, anybody can go online and create a website for themselves and then create a social presence by creating a Facebook account or an Instagram account and buying fake followers. And then those same people can then create courses that they sell to people for hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. And the problem that I have is that these people are creating courses over subjects that they probably have no business creating courses about. I have a number of different experiences with business coaches that have really left a sour taste in my own mouth. Um, one specifically that I want to talk about briefly, I have two stories I want to talk about today. One specifically is a gentleman that I met for internet marketing. is is about a year and a half ago. I wanted to learn how to effectively internet market. And I wanted to learn how to um, market businesses and be able to start a marketing agency and, and do all of those things. And so I reached out to this guy um, who seemed like he knew what he was doing. He was always posting on Instagram about how much money he was making and, you know, posting like those, those photos of Lamborghinis and Ferraris and those big houses and, and all of these things that on the surface made it seem like he was super successful and he knew what he was doing. And me being at the time, I was like 24, a 24 year old eager to learn about this industry. I was like, this guy know what knows what he's doing. I want to work with him. So I actually reached out to him and wanted to do like an internship type of thing. Like my ideal situation was to maybe go work for him for free for a few months or, or do something for him. And in return, I would learn the trade. And he instead offered to signed me up to his course. And this course cost, I think it was like $3,900, like just right below $4,000. And I remember at the time I was really close to considering it. Like I, I really took into consideration this guy's offer and I was very close to, to sending this guy $3,900 in order to get access to his course. But I ultimately said, no, I couldn't justify that cost. And so I, I passed on it. But for months I thought to myself, like, was that a good move? Should I have done that? And, um, I actually found out about six months ago, so about a year after this entire thing happened, that this guy is now working as an electrician. Like he he's quit his internet marketing and he's just gone on to be an electrician. And not that there's anything wrong with being an electrician, um, but this entire story just simply doesn't add up. He went from like being a multimillionaire owning Ferraris and Lamborghinis and huge houses and going on great vacations because of his internet marketing business. And now he's working a job as an electrician. 
And in my head, that was like me just avoiding this huge mistake of mine of giving this guy nearly $4,000 in order for me to learn internet marketing from an expert, come to find out he's not an expert at all and his own business failed. So that was my first experience with kind of a, a business coach and really learning that like business coaches don't know what the hell they're talking about. The second person I know is, is somebody who has a Turo course is they have a course that goes through the process of how to make extra money on Turo. And I personally know this person and know that this person had a failed Turo business. So this person tried Turo out. They realized that it didn't work for them for whatever reason. And instead they have now created a course teaching people how to do Turo. And that's just something I really have a problem with. Like I, I just, to my core, feel like that's wrong is that if you start a business and that business doesn't succeed, who do you think you are to then market that business and your expertise in that business to other people? I, I just don't, I don't feel good about it. I think that there's something really shady about it. I think that it's immoral. I, I just really genuinely feel like it's wrong. And so that's really what I want to get across in this video is that the problem with business coaches is that anybody can be a business coach. There's no certification. I mean, if you want to be a doctor, you have to go to school. If you want to be a physical therapist, you have to go to school. If you want to be a personal trainer, you have to get certification. But if you're wanting to coach people on business and like potentially have a huge impact in their life, you have no certification that you have to have. Like you simply just have to create yourself a website and a teachable course and you're good to go. And that's my problem. And especially in the world of business, where if you're talking to people that don't know what they're doing, if you're talking to beginners, if you just sound confidently, and if you know the basics, then you can come off as somebody who's really intelligent. And that is my entire problem with it is that you don't require a certification. You don't require schooling. All you have to do is be able to market yourself as having a certain skill. And you can convince these people that don't know better that you're an expert. Whenever in actuality, you have no business calling yourself an expert. And so that's really the point that I want to get across in this video is that I, I think that everybody needs to keep their eyes open when it comes to business coaches, because so many people are just have no business coaching other people how to do business. And I want you all, anybody who's watching this video to keep that in mind. Now, I do wanna add that I don't think all business coaches are bad and I don't think all courses are bad. I have myself purchased a lot of bad courses over the last 10 years. I've probably realistically spent thousands of dollars on courses that were just absolute crap. But I've also spent a lot of money on courses that are really, really good, um, things that really did change my life in a positive way. And I think that when you're going about finding a business coach, because there's also people that really swear by business coaches. And so I think that there are people that are good business coaches that can add value to your life. There are courses out there that are really great and can add a ton of value to you in your career. But there are definitely more duds, then there are winners. And whenever you're going out there and you're looking for those resources, you're looking for a business coach, or you're looking for a course out there to help you make sure that you get the full picture, understand who's writing this course and what are their credentials? Who are they to be giving advice? What successes have they seen? Um, what is their track record? What is their experience like? What are the other customer reviews? Is there a refund policy? There are so many different things that you can look at to see if this is a valid investment for yourself. And if all of the boxes are checked off and it looks like a, a good investment, then go for it. I think that the course could be a great option for you. But the problem comes when you buy a course from somebody that should never be selling a course. So we've talked about business coaches and why you should potentially avoid them or at least be cautious with them. But what about alternatives to these business coaches and courses? So you not only don't have to pay thousands of dollars to learn a new skill, but there's also opportunities out there to get paid to learn these new skills. You see, whenever I was at a crossroads in my life a couple of years ago, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I had just had a business close and I was like in the process of figuring out, okay, what is it that I want to do now? I knew I wanted to do something in the online space or in the more passive space, but I didn't really know what that would look like. 
at this time, I reached out to a number of different like business coaches. I reached out to a lot of experts and it was just too hard for me to justify the cost of paying thousands of dollars for these courses or for these coaches. And instead I explored the option to do freelancing. So what I did is I created a profile on Upwork and I then applied to every job I could think of, any job that seemed of any interest to me. I made a pact that for myself for that year, I wouldn't say no to any opportunity on Upwork. So I got jobs with digital marketing agencies. I got job with data entry specialists. I got a job with a real estate developer doing some work for him. I got a job with different Shopify or drop shipping stores. I spent a year working roughly 30 to 40 hours a week with these various different businesses as a way to not only learn how to operate these businesses, but also figure out what it was that I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And during this year, I learned a absolute ton. I worked with a gentleman who was an expert in Google AdWords, and he was one of the people that actually trained Google staff how to run AdWords. I worked with a woman who had a digital marketing agencies with dozens of different Facebook clients, and she taught me how to do Facebook. I worked with a guy who had a extremely successful dropshipping store, and he taught me about dropshipping. And I will actually have a lot more on that topic here shortly, as I'm currently making some business moves in the background that I'm excited to reveal to you guys. During that year, I worked with dozens and dozens of successful entrepreneurs with a wide range of different businesses. And I learned about these businesses. And during that process, I not only learned, but I also got paid. Some of these things, I had basic Facebook ad marketing knowledge beforehand. I knew what Google AdWords was, but I didn't know a whole lot about it. I knew what dropshipping was, but I actually had a failed dropshipping store that I created in high school. So I had basic like background of all of these these topics and these businesses beforehand, but I was not an expert. I was not even remotely educated on it. And I was able to get these jobs and become an expert in a matter of a year. And the best part was, was that I got paid to do it. So I didn't have to spend thousands of dollars in order to learn and said, I got paid thousands of dollars and was able to learn at the same time. I think it's so important to learn and it's so important to be interested in different skills and different topics, but it's as equally important to know and to realize that all of these things you can learn on your own, whether it be internet marketing, drop shipping, Facebook, Instagram, um, building a website, any of these things, you can learn on your own if you really want to. And, and if you really want to hire a business coach or if you really want to buy a course, then go for it. But make sure that the course and the coach that you are hiring is a reputable source, that they are qualified to be coaching and helping you. And make sure that you're not buying into these entrepreneurs who create these courses over topics that they themselves couldn't succeed at. And if at the end of the day, you don't want to spend money on these courses or on these coaches, then do what I did. Go on to Upwork, create a professional profile and apply to as many jobs as you possibly can. Eventually you will get hired and then you'll get hired more and more and more and you'll be able to learn while getting paid. I'll have a lot more videos on Upwork and what I did during this period of time to get so many clients and to learn so much while getting paid. I know that for me personally, that year was so valuable to me, that year of, of spending virtually all my time learning and working with different clients and refusing to say no to anybody in order to learn. And I was able to make really good money while also learning a absolute ton. And I highly recommend that anybody who's wanting to learn and grow as an entrepreneur, they do something similar because it's so valuable and it's a lot of fun and it's a really great way to not only learn, but network and make money. And I just really had a great experience doing it. And I wanted to share that with you guys. So remember there are good business coaches and courses out there. There are really great entrepreneurs out there who genuinely want to help. I think that maybe in the future I might create a course. And so it's not something that I'm, I'm just like, putting a blanket statement of saying this is a scam. But there are, in a field and in an industry that requires no certification, the barrier to entry is so low, there's bound to be people in that industry that aren't qualified. And the business coaching and business course industry is one of those industries. So just if you wanna hire a coach, if you wanna buy a course, then go ahead and do it. I, I, I think if it's something you truly want, then do it. But 
just be aware of the consequences and of the risk of buying a course or hiring a coach that isn't qualified. And if you don't want to do that, then go check out Upwork or Fiverr or any of those other freelance companies. Because I know that for me, I had a really great experience learning from these successful business owners while also getting paid at the same time. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video content. Again, I apologize if there was any dogs barking or moving around. I, I guess I'll find out while I'm editing this how bad it was. But um, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. If you guys like the content, then make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.